I remember one time uh, when I was at the Catholic Worker, uh, an issue of Time Magazine came out around Christmas time uh, with the heading Saints for Our Time. And it had, I think, a picture of Mother Teresa on the cover. And uh, inside it had a list of other people who were you know, possible saints of our time, uh, including Dorothy Day. And she said, uh, when they call you a saint, uh, basically it means you're not to be taken seriously. Now, Dorothy took saints extremely seriously. So Dorothy, she read uh, not just the lives of the saints, but also the writings of the saints. You know, Teresa of Avila, Teresa of Lisieux, John of the Cross, um, St. Francis. I mean, she took that stuff to heart, and that became her daily bread. It was not for her uh, just someone on a Hall of Fame or, or Catholic trading cards or something. Uh, her, her whole life was, was spent in dialogue with uh, saints, that is to say, mediating figures who showed in their own time, embodied the challenge of, of, of faithfulness. Uh, and the Catholic worker was filled with quotations from the saints, pictures of the saints. Dorothy wrote a book about Saint Therese of Lisieux. Uh, these were people who were intimate companions uh, for her. So she didn't herself you know, feel that it was trivializing to, to make someone a saint. In fact, emphasized the idea that we are all called to be saints. She didn't think that the saints were just people that we revered, uh, but they were uh, our companions, you know, and examples who challenged us on our own journey toward holiness. And to be holy, meaning not to be perfect, not to be canonized, not to have a church named after us, but to uh, be the person that, that God created us to be, to put off the old person, to put on Christ. And she saw that as an ongoing task that lasts a whole lifetime. So when she was concerned that people calling her a saint while she was alive, uh, that that was a, a way of putting her on a pedestal of saying, well, Dorothy can do those things. She's a saint, you know, after all. Uh, but for the rest of us, uh, you know, this is, uh, uh, it's inspiring, but it, it doesn't really challenge me or speak to me because I, I can't do that kind of thing. I could never live with the poor. I could never go to jail. Uh, I could never speak out in this way. I'm, I'm not like, like that. Uh, and Dorothy would have not, none of that kind of thing, and she hated it when people would uh, sort of, uh, you know, idealize her. Uh, she was very human, she was very aware of her own flaws, her own capacity for anger, uh, for resentments, for uh, bitterness. Uh, she struggled with these things, she brought them to confession. Uh, her whole life was an effort to work on these issues, to grow closer to Christ. Our lives are full of contradiction. And, you know, she stated, don't call me a saint. I don't want to be dismissed that easily. And she also said, we're all called to be saints. But I also see the hand of God pushing her in a direction that she didn't necessarily choose or understand at the time. I mean, there were other things that she would have rather have done. But in the end, it was very clear that her life took the, the direction that it took you know, because she responded to the hearing the voice of God.